Peter Clemente, no holds barred. Joe here with Jose Figueroa. How was the fight? It was a good fight, man. Uh, guy's real tough. I, I expected to uh, pick him off a lot more with my reach. He actually came out. He looked a little taller than, than we expected, too. And he used his reach and his uh, his height really good. Southpaw threw me off big time. Were you su surprised at the unanimous decision? Um, nah, I wasn't really surprised because we were kind of going a little back and forth with, with uh, striking. And then I got takedown, so I wasn't really too surprised. And then, you know, it was pretty much both hard of us, hard for us to land. So it was like whoever was throwing more. So I think I was trying to just add a little more kicks and stuff, throw a lot more than him because uh, to make it look like I was more aggressive, which I was trying to be. Now, you only had three, three and a half weeks of training camp, you were saying, in the ring. Yeah, uh, this is my 12th pro fight. I think it's probably the worst shape I have been in. Um, I trained really hard for it. Um, you know, I really trained real hard with my Muay Thai coach and the guys at Orlando and my uh, Jiu Jitsu MMA coach, Paul. Um, we, we trained really hard. Um, I just think a little bit more time, you know, it's pro professional, it's not amateur. He came in great shape. Um, I came in good shape. I think I could, at what definitely was in great shape. You should probably take some amped up energy balls before the fight to give you a little edge. All right, so listen, you're a brown belt. I didn't. I, you were trying to utilize the ground game or stay with his stand-up? Um, well, I was trying to do the stand-up, but uh, right when I felt him, I think it just felt like I was a stronger guy, bigger 55er, so I thought I could take him down. You could tell in the turtle position, that's where he was giving me hell, and he was using his wrestling really good. Um, you know, but uh, my, I'm a brown belt under Ricardo Laborio, and I think I, I should use it more, but as you've seen, I love elbows. You see my last fight in Bellator, all elbows, big elbows, just like I always do. I just couldn't do it tonight because there's no elbows. Yeah, for the tournament yeah. rules, right? Because so, yeah, so people were saying, it's, why isn't he throwing elbows? But for the tournament rules, for those that don't know, you're going to be fighting in four weeks, right? They, uh, about yeah, I think it's about four or six weeks. Yeah, so they don't want they don't want to get any cuts or excessive yeah, bruising. Yeah. Um, well, I hope they let us do elbows in that fight because if I get on top of somebody, I'm definitely trying to cut them open and knock them out. That's one of my one of my knockouts on the ground is elbows, so th you know th that's what I love. Sounds good, man. Thank you for your time. We look forward to seeing you in the finals. Thanks, guys. Yep, take care.